beautiful weather, beautiful day, beautiful people. Look at them pair. Oi oi, couple of sex gods. Oh, not him. No. 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 Am I a Chelsea fan? No. No, I'm not. No. no. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your trophies. Oh, no, wait. We're having a big selfie. Yeah, Come on, Charlie, get it. All right, Hornets, here we are again. Saturday is football day. We are off to Brighton. A um, few things to cover. Looks like we've got a few players back in the side today, which is going to be a, a big plus for us. I think that's something we, we really do need. Um, really disappointing last weekend. Um, you know, and in, in not just the loss, but the manner of the loss. And I think, you know, Nigel Pearson was, was speaking that week about there's been no sort of pivotal games or, or games that have really uh, going to sort of judge our season. I don't know. I don't know. That one felt bad. Um, I hope we can bounce back, really. I think that's that's first and foremost. I think today is not just about not losing. Um, it's winning. I think we need to win today to, to really keep the momentum on and, and, and put the pressure back in everyone else is caught with it. We are, of course, the late game and Brighton are a team that are in and around us as well. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be squeaky bum time today, as they say. Um, probably one last thing to mention. Thank you. Well, not really thank you, but uh, all the Everton fans that were giving me um, mild abuse on, uh, on Twitter and... Uh, on YouTube, so thank you for that. That stopped um, Friday, so I've had a week of it. I've now asked to, to to move on to Brighton fans, if I may, who are a little bit more sensible than the Everton fans and, and probably understand football a little bit more. So um, yeah, so hopefully we can have a bit more of a sensible conversation. Um, but anyway, Everton fans, yeah, back to your slums or wherever you wherever it is you live. Thank you. Um, Anyway, waiting to be picked up today, which is nice. So uh, being picked up shortly, going to get something to eat because we've got plenty of time. Um, yeah, then get down there. All right, see you in a bit. We're in the grounds. Cole's with me. All right, Jace is with us. <laughs> yeah. Three points, please. Enough said. started where we finished literally um, I'm sat back in this chair talking to you 
and uh, yes, it's um, been a completely disappointing day. I mean, there, there has been an epic success, which I shall go through shortly. But um, from the football point of view, we were poor today. I think um, you know we. we we should have beaten Brighton, really, being 1-0 up. I mean, Mariapa's goal was a fantastic finish, first and foremost. I mean, you, you should probably be giving lessons to the strikers that we do, especially Isaac's success, um, about how to score a goal. But I think we, we sat too deep. They really did push on to us and, you know, the, was it coming? Maybe I think we we you know if he just steps over that ball or has a look over his shoulder, he'll see that the player's nowhere near him and he'll probably clear it to safety or at worst the corner. But he, he's he's tried to get in there and and get a touch on it, but I mean it was a touch of a bricklayer and it's it's just smashed it into the net. So look, it is what it is. It's it's a point. It's not a loss. I, I just felt today that. With the games that we've got coming up, we really did need to win today. So, disappointed. But um, in other news, uh, me and the boys have an accumulator every week. Uh, eight teams. Eight teams. Uh, two teams each. Yeah, eight teams. Can't do maths tonight. Um, yeah, and it came in. So that was brilliant. 20 quid in, 1,400 quid back. Nice. Nice. So that was something. Um, first time for a while, but it was something. But anyway, guys, uh, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and we will be back uh, in two weeks' time. We've got uh, our winter break next week, and then we're we're up in Manchester to uh, to see all the half and half scarf wankers again which I can't wait for, and probably more Man United fans in our end than Watford fans, as per usual. But we'll see. Anyway, guys, see you soon.